hello friends so this is Sopnil and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to learn about how to create CDSV with the inner join in the last video I have shown you how to create the simple CDSV if you didn't watch that video then press the i button above or otherwise you may also find the link in the description so today we are going to see about how to create uh, inner join how to create CDSV with the inner join okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching this video uh, okay so now i'm in my eclipse so now today we are going to see the simple example of how you can use the join with the cdsv okay create a cdsv with the join okay so let's start so what you have to do is first of all just right click on your package the package then click on new and the other repository object so here you have to type ddl and just select the ddl source click on the next okay give the name for your series so i'm going to a series underscore inner join okay okay then do the description inner join in cds view and click on the next okay we are saving the program in a local package so we don't need to use any kind of the tr over here just click on the next okay so now we have we have can see here different different actually define we define we join define which association so today we are going to see the example of join so we are going to see the join over here and click on the finish okay so now you can see here we have some set of code over here so now we need to make the correction as per our requirement so first of all i will tell you uh, the two table that we are going to use for the join i am going to my uh, see like okay and okay here's the two table this is the one table uh, like uh, this is one table and in this table you can see there are total number of entries is 71 entries over here okay and we show you the another one more table so like file tt like here t at the end okay and here as you can see the total number of entries is 69 okay so we are basically use this two table in order to fetch the data from okay so let's uh, go back to the eclipse so now here you can see the sql name so sql name we need to provide we are, we are using this name as i already uh, as in, uh, we discuss about this thing uh, this will create the view this will create the view in the uh, in your uh, database and uh, you can access this by using sc11 giving hmm. inner join okay so now define we as a select from okay select from the name of the table so what is our table name mm, let's go back to the c11 okay so now we will use for this table get t and just remove this here from here re as a a now we are going to use the inner join okay inner join inner join the next this is the table is uh, with the like at the end there is a t and the second is a text table and we can we will use the header table okay okay, okay. it's uh, at the end k so we will use this state today we are going to t as a b let me remove the unwanted code from here okay okay so now we can see the own data system okay so need to enter the joining condition a so we'll go to the this table okay, okay. so which here we are going to use the like id because like id is a key field here okay so here i will give as the like id and save in the second level also we have we have the same we'll keep it okay okay so now what we have done is like we have just 
will you select from this table as a, a inner joint k as a b from the text and error table okay so now in this bracket we need to define the field the field what we need to consider from the wood table let me open the second table also over here okay this is the t okay so now from this kk table we are going to use like id num this table you are going to use like id and description okay so let's go to the eclipse okay so here we'll add a dot first is a key field we will try consider here like id then a dot so it will be description okay as a, you can see any heading if you want from so you can you can give a heading also for this particular column uh, it's depend upon you okay so like id you are not giving any heading then we will get the we will get the field from the uh, second table and so so we have a second table as a like kvj uh, okay okay so b second table also place a control space it will uh, give it it will give you this again the column name from the column name from this table so just select the table okay, from here i will choose the like number as a number give any heading whatever you want then give number and object name okay sorry as num okay so now we will uh, we will first check the syntax header and we will click on activate okay so once okay so there is no error in the kind of error so okay okay uh, so we will see what is the uh, inner join like inner join will fetch the data from both the table if the data is available in the both the table based on the joining condition okay so for in this case as you can see here line the key key we will see how much data is there in this table we have total 71 record okay and we will check the another table also in this table we have a total 1600 records okay so what so now as we have see uh, we have see uh, in the kk table we have a 71 records and t table we have a, a 69 record okay so now uh, so now it will check the data in the both the table okay so so now if we will execute it should retrieve the only 69 record because 69 is the match record in both the table okay so let's see how much data how much data we are getting from this table to put okay so now you can see here we have total 16 and row retrieve okay field from this table description see the number would see the column name as well as we have uh, def as we have defines the name as per our choice column name and condition okay now we will see the same view in ac 11 and so uh, let's go uh, let me see 11 ah uh, time set view in a join okay so now you can see here yeah 
in the join mission and we will execute this view okay here as you can see the total 69 record here right here we have a total 69 record okay okay so this was all about EDS how to create a CDS view with the inner join okay so in the next session we will see how to create a CDS view with the left outer join okay and this uh, so whatever I have explained in the video the same the same things is also available in the in my website also so you may so find the link in the description for the same I hope you like this video if you have any doubt then please write me in a comment section below if you like this video then please press the like button below and if you want to learn more about SAP app app then please visit to my website the link is also given in the description that is www.learnsapapp.com please subscribe to my channel to get the notification about my next video and by signing out